All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is the, like, eighth time that I've recorded this video in the last, I don't know, 16 or so hours, and I feel like every time I record it, at least up until this point, I, I don't even get what I'm trying to say right. Like, I can't, it, I find it hard to find the words, really, to kind of express and explain really just how I feel and, like, just everything about this situation. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, as a person, I'm really hurt because this is somebody I thought was, like, actually my friend, you know? You think you know a guy, right? And this goes beyond just, like, some YouTuber stuff, man. This is somebody I thought was my friend. This is a person that, you know, we had each other's phone numbers. We had planned up on, on meeting up one day and hanging out, and we had all these mutual friends who all knew him and everything. Thing. So I had been friends with Cyrus for going on four years or so this summer now. Uh, the first collab video and the first time we really started talking was in summer 2019. And obviously, probably by now, now that it's the next day, now that we've all kind of had the night to sleep on it and think about everything, I'm assuming a good amount of you have already heard the allegations, especially if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, you've heard a lot of what's going on, but the YouTuber Cyrus was exposed for some pretty just god-awful shit. I mean, how else can it really be put? I mean, he was accused of being a pedophile. He was accused of mentally manipulating and emotionally abusing several women in his past, including ex-girlfriends, Discord e-girls that he was leading on, all kinds of different people that he's hurt. There's a leaked phone call of him admitting to sending a minor a nude photo of himself, in which he pretty much has no remorse for anything at all. He's completely ghosted everybody who was supposed to be his friend. He He's completely ghosted the internet and deleted all of his content off of his YouTube channel. And to just be 100% honest, man, like, I'm still, even the next day, just completely blindsided by everything, man. Like, when I was seeing everything kind of unfolding on Twitter last night, and people were saying, like, oh, how could Cyrus do this, and oh, this is the end of Cyrus, and things like that, I didn't know what was going on. So the first person I called was Cyrus. I called him privately on our phones, and his number is disconnected. Because during all of this, I guess his phone number ended up leaking or something, I, I don't know the full details of that that's just what I've heard online but I wanted to hear from him like what was going on because at first I thought this was just like oh you know another random YouTube drama you know maybe someone made a video on him or whatever but no obviously I started to see the proof of the allegations and I saw all of the evidence that had been presented unfortunately I can't really show that in this video because it is going to get this video age restricted or if not outright deleted by YouTube I don't want the video to be censored therefore if you want to find any of the evidence that has been basically put out against Cyrus in this entire situation. I've linked down below in the description and in the pinned comment a couple of threads that have evidence of what I'm talking about in this entire situation. So in this video, uh, I, I just want to kind of clear a little bit of things up. I want to talk about my relationship with Cyrus what I knew about Cyrus, talk about how confused and how hurt everybody is by these allegations as someone that we all thought was our friend, someone that we thought was like actually our boy, you know, people say like, oh, you know, you can't trust your internet friends. And yeah, I get that. But this was somebody we had been in pretty close contact with for four years. Like I said, we had each other's phone numbers. He knows what I look like. I mean, I'm pretty much anonymous on the internet, right? But this dude knows what I look like. I mean, that's how like close of a friend this was to me. We had podcast together. It never ended up being a full-on podcast, but we did make a few, like, goofy bullshit videos on there together. We made two songs together. We had planned over the time to bring back podcast and, you know, maybe make more music together. We made a bunch of collab videos together. He's in one of my most popular videos of all time, The Commentary Crusade, about Pokimane. Like, that was supposed to be my boy, and it turns out this whole time that it was just a complete double life that he was living, essentially, where he put on on this completely different persona and built basically this completely different character that he portrayed to everybody around him, which even includes people that he lived with, because I know people who actually lived with the guy for an extended period of time, and they know this guy extremely personally. I mean, you get to living with someone for a year, like, you get to know them very, very well. And nobody saw this coming. Nobody saw the red flags. Nobody saw any warning signs. Nothing, man. And I want to address uh, a rumor that I've been kind of seeing going around on social media 
from people before I go any further. I've been hearing rumors that Cyrus has been telling people the reason that he's like stepped away or whatever is so he can focus on going back to school. I just want to clarify, uh, from my knowledge, that is not true whatsoever. The last time that Cyrus got in contact with me was eight days ago. All he ever discussed in those Discord messages was previewing a new song that he was working on. I assume under his Star 6 7 alias that a lot of people know him under. He made music under that name. I told him a couple hours after he sent the message to send it over whenever he had a chance, and he never responded to me, and I never heard from Cyrus ever again after that. I don't know if it had anything to do with what's now going on, because from my understanding, there was a TikTok kind of making waves a little bit, like, it was like a real small TikTok that had, like, exposed him or whatever that was going around a couple days before all the allegations really kind of hit the mainstream or whatever. So I don't know if that was really related or what the whole deal with that situation was, but I never heard from the guy ever again and obviously now i'll never hear from him again you know I, I i don't have any intentions of ever talking to cyrus again after everything that's come out like how could i you know how could i ever affiliate with somebody like that again how could i ever call someone like that a friend again and the truth is man like i've looked through all the evidence i saw the text messages i saw the leaked phone calls the, the evidence is just bulletproof. I mean, there's been allegations that have come out against content creators and people in general in the past. You know, it, it could be like an anonymous TikTok, right? Where just someone with no face, no name, no evidence accuses somebody of doing something just to like try and get back at them or to like, you know, defame them or whatever. But the evidence in this situation is just rock solid. It, it's bulletproof. I mean, as someone who knew him for four years, I can confidently say that was him in the leaked phone calls and the pictures of him are real. And it's just all so fucking insane. Like, it makes me sick to my stomach. It, it honestly makes me want to cry. Like, last night, bro, when, after I found out everything, I tried to go to bed. I couldn't sleep for hours, man. I was up tossing and turning until 5 a.m. I slept until 2 p.m. today. I canceled all the other videos I was going to work on today to make this one because this is just, to me, a much more important situation to talk about than the other things that I was going to talk about today on the channel. I mean, I'm just pretty fucked up about this whole thing, man. I, I know I keep saying it, but you think you know somebody. You know, you think you know a guy. You think he's your friend. And everything you ever saw from that person was, was just bullshit. That, that's what the part I can't wrap my head around. The Cyrus I came to know and love as a person over those years, bro, was a complete facade. It was an invented personality meant essentially to deceive me and everybody else behind the scenes. For instance, in some of these text messages that leaked about him, man, he came off like super aggressive and he came off as almost power hungry in a sense. You know what I mean? He was never like that around me or at least anyone else that I've talked to. And I've talked to damn near a dozen people in the last 16 hours behind the scenes that knew Cyrus to some degree, you know, uh, because he had a lot of influence on the commentary community. And I'm, I'm talking about that in a minute, but nobody ever saw any of this side of him, man. Like, you know, that power hungry side of him that was verbally abusive to these women that was manipulating people and just doing the most depraved, disgusting, vile shit possible. He literally never gave off any sort of red flags or warnings to anybody around us that he was going to be like that, bro. Like this is somebody who knew my IRL friends, like my personal friends outside of you. YouTube, the people I grew up with, bro. That's how close I was to this guy, bro. There's never been any other YouTuber, anything like that, that I've ever thought I was friends with like this, bro. And that's what really fucking hurts, man, is like, this guy befriended me in a point of my career and in a point in my life where, you know, I was going through a lot of shit, man. Like I was blown up on YouTube. I didn't fully understand what I was doing. And he like what he like he did with a lot of other creators. He kind of took me under his wing in some ways, bro. Even though he was younger than me, like he he gave me knowledge about the YouTube game and like about content creation that like, you know, really helped me going forward, man. And his influence on the commentary community was insane. Like there's so many people who do YouTube shorts and make commentary videos that were like close with this guy and he gave advice to and like he had this whole different persona for all of us, bro. And nobody has seen this coming like this is just completely shocking to everybody too so obviously there's not ever going to be another podcast video there's not ever going to be any collab videos going forward i'm pretty sure cyrus is done at this point right like he's gone from the internet from what i understand uh he's abandoned everything he did make like a three minute quote-unquote response video that he uploaded to his channel shortly before he ended up deleting it and everything else on his channel you can find archives of that video essentially 
essentially all he did was address like the mentally abusing women point. He didn't address any of like the pedophilia allegations or any of that stuff really. He kind of just completely brushed it off and as someone who quote unquote knew Cyrus for multiple years, the person in that video was not Cyrus. That is not the video response that the Cyrus we knew would have made, if that made sense. That was a completely fabricated bullshit video that he made. And I hate to say that because he had a chance genuinely to address all this shit and to get his side of the story out. And instead of addressing the allegations head on and disproving them if they were false, he basically deflected it. He just said, oh, you know, I've been mentally abusing women and whatnot, and it's really messed up and I'm going to leave the internet and get help now. I'm so fucking sorry. It was the least sincere apology I've ever heard. That was not in, in any way legitimate. Trust me, as someone who back in summer 2020 was sitting in Discord calls with this man for six hours a day, making fucking YouTube videos, grinding content, strategizing, that was not him. You know, that, that was not the real him. That video was complete bullshit, and everybody knew it was complete bullshit. And then he just scrubbed everything and, and disappeared, bro. And that's what's craziest about it all, man. It just feels like we all kind of got got by just a fucking person who wasn't who they said they were and turned out to just be on a completely different wave and on a completely different, like, just the timing, I guess. I don't know. And I keep hearing, like, rumors that there's gonna be more people who come out. I've heard rumors going around that there could literally be dozens of victims of his mental abuse, of his manipulation, of these pedophilic activities that he partook in. God only really knows. I mean, like, as of right now, you know, I haven't seen any new allegations on social media. Unfortunately, I had to check when I got up today, you know, was there anything new that came out? I haven't seen really anything new. Uh, I feel like I've pretty much addressed most of the major stuff. Uh, he definitely wasn't stepping away to focus on school. He dropped out of high school. Uh, he had never mentioned anything to me about going back to school whatsoever. Last time I talked to him in voice chat, he joined my private Discord, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago. He never mentioned going to school, anything like that. So personally, I believe that that was just a lie. I feel like, you know, with the relationship that we supposedly had, that if he was going back to school, you know, he would have let me know that. You know, he'd have been like, hey man, I'm focused on going back to school or whatever, right? But that never, ever got mentioned. You know, that never got brought up. And this is somebody who I knew like personal family details about, like family, like stories and lore and like personal upbringing stories from but he wouldn't tell me that he was going back to school i just don't find that believable man i don't know but i just uh I i'm just so stunned that one person honestly could cause this much like emotional and mental harm to as many people as he supposedly did like the the concept that there could be dozens of victims that end up coming forward in this entire situation it just, it, it's so hard to wrap my fucking mind around, man. Like, it's just, it's so hard to really conceptualize that this dude I thought I knew, this person I thought was my friend, bro, could really do some shit like this. And it, it's, it's destroyed my trust, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, I thought this was really my friend. Like, I'm never gonna be able to trust somebody like this again online, bro. Like, I'm never gonna be able to be that close with somebody again, man. Like, I, I did so many, so many collab videos and had so many ideas, bro. And so many different things planned and, and things that we had talked about, man. At one point, we had talked about making a fucking video game together. Like, we had so many ideas in the, in the back of our minds that we were gonna pursue together. And all of that shit is just gone now because this guy just wasn't who he said he was. And he turned out to be the most vile and reprehensible version of himself possible. How the fuck am I ever going to trust somebody enough to be in that position again, man? Like, how am I ever going to look at another content creator the same, bro? I thought that was my fucking friend, man. Like, I know I keep saying that, but probably like I'm hurt. I, I can't lie, man. Like, I'm fucked up. It, it, it's just been replaying in my mind, man. I, I, I honestly feel guilty, and I, I don't know if that sounds stupid to say or not, but the idea that this shit went on for how, as long as it did, like it could have been years, you know what I mean? There's people in these allegations that say they've known him since he was like 14. So for like over half a decade now type shit. And they say he's the same person that he was then to them. To know that like the whole time I thought I was getting to know this guy like that, that he was causing so much harm and doing so much wrong shit behind the scenes. And like I said, man, I know people who lived with this guy for like an extended period of time and they didn't even know this shit was going on. Like to just know that he projected, I guess, so hard to everybody like that. It just, it makes me feel guilty because like, how could we not have seen the red flags? How could we have not seen the warning signs? 
but the truth is there really wasn't any man like even looking back now like the only weird thing that i can recall is like when his girlfriend would come in the room or anything in like our private discord when he was talking to us he would just like mute himself for an extended period of time or he would like just like leave the call or whatever so we didn't hear her and that doesn't necessarily indicate that he was doing anything bad or anything weird but like i just keep replaying shit in my head trying to like piece it together and figure out like was there anything i missed bro like did he show any like indicators that this was happening and there just there wasn't any bro there wasn't any and other people all say the same thing like people who knew him no one saw the side of him that we're seeing now bro like he did so well at masking and hiding that shit from everybody around him that it's just completely blown us all away bro and I, I just feel like a certain level of guilt, like, dude, what if, you know, I missed a warning sign one time that could have stopped it? I don't know, but, like, I just, I feel like a piece of shit. Like, I was friends with this guy for so long, you know, I stuck with him through thick and thin, you know, people uh, made videos about him or dissed him or whatever. I was there for him, bro. Like, during tough times in his life, I was there for him. And all for what? All for him to turn out like this, bro? All for him to be a fucking pedophile, you know what I mean? Like, it, it... I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, I really don't know what to say, man. Like, it just, it, it's mind-blowing to me, bro. I just had to get how I felt about all this out there because, honestly, it just, it it's fucking destroying me. Like, bro, that was supposed to be my friend, man. That was supposed to be my boy. And, nah, like, it, no. What else can I say? No, bro. Like, it just, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. And he created so many victims and did so much just terrible shit to people. And reading those text messages, especially, man, between him and other people, right? Uh, it, it just, it sunk my stomach, bro. Like, just knowing that that was what was going on behind the scenes. And then to not even take any accountability for it. Or, like, respond in any meaningful way. To just disappear from everybody who supported you for so long. After you've created all these victims. After you've put so many horrible situations into people's lives. It, it just, it doesn't feel real, man. It, it doesn't, it doesn't feel real. And I, I don't, I don't know what the future is going to hold, man. More people might come out. And if they do it's gonna be even worse because obviously more people have been affected by this than we initially thought maybe he tries to come back i don't really see how it's gonna happen um from what i know all he's ever really known is youtube i don't know if he knows how to do anything outside of youtube i don't know what what the plan is for him honestly i'm not worried about helping him i, I mean i i'm worried about if he's gonna try to come back i'm worried about if he's gonna try and come back under like another alias or something because he did that a lot in music i will say that like the whole star six seven thing that was not his first rap alias or music alias by far man like he had a bunch of them before that and i'm just wondering if he's gonna try to do that with youtube and he's gonna try and come back under a new alias or a new persona and like make people think he's not cyrus or something i don't know but it's just a completely fucked up situation and honestly man at the end of it all the people who really matter in this situation is the victims you know the people that he personally destroyed and affected in different ways whether it was mentally manipulating them into believing that he liked them and you know thought that they had a chance in a relationship with them just for him to ghost them or whatever to the disgusting things that he would say to people over text messages and the just disgusting shit he'd say in general to the literal pedophilia that he's basically admitted to in that leaked phone call where he saw no problem with sending you know a minor basic well he, he acts like he saw a problem with it but in reality he saw no problem with sending nude photos to a minor i i just i, I don't know he, he says he's looking for like severe help he's leaving the internet for help but me personally man how do you rehabilitate somebody like that how do you fix somebody like that bro how do you fix that problem somebody has how do you help them through that bro how do you, how does someone become normal after all that shit i don't know i don't know if you can but I mean, my heart goes out to all those people, bro, because to think that there could be dozens of people who had to go through this shit and endure this kind of stuff over the years, and everybody around him was none the wiser to it, man, it just, like, it just really fucking hurts. Like, it, it just, it hurt, it hurts, and it makes me sick to my stomach, and it's just so hard to really find the right words to really kind of quantify it because you never expect something like this man you never go 
uh, wake up one day and expect that that's going to be the day that someone you thought was your friend is going to get exposed for some shit like this, bro. It's just fucking, it's just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and do the normal video outro and all that shit. It's not appropriate. If I can wrap this up on a, at least a positive note, I raise money for charity on every video that I make. I've done this for years through the YouTube giving program. I touch none of the money that's donated. It goes directly from YouTube to the charity. Usually I do them in honor of Technoblade, the YouTuber who passed away from cancer, but given the severity of this situation i find it really only correct to actually find a charity that kind of uh like aligns with this situation in some way so as i've uploaded this video i've found some sexual assault or sexual awareness or something kind of charity honestly man it would mean the world if you guys could donate to that for me if there can be any sort of positive made out of this situation man i want to make some sort of positive out of it because everyone i know who knew this guy is just hurt and like all these victims have lined up with all this evidence and it's just going to be so much different going forward.